Hey there, happy hackers. My name's Andrew, and this is Red Blue Labs. I'm glad you're here. Today, my camera is a square, and I don't know why. So today, this video is about a conversation I had with somebody, and they came up to me, and they had they had two captures, and there was they were both SSH, and they said, Andrew, this one capture, when it's on port 22, it shows SSH, it shows the Diffie Hellman, shows all of the exchanges that are in there. And when I change the port to anything else on the SSH server, and I do a capture, I no longer see the SSH. What's going on? And I said, this sounds like solid YouTube content. I'm going to show you two captures, one with the default port of an SSH server set to 22, and then the other one set the default port to something super duper high, above 50,000. And we're going to see... The two captures that they look different and I'm going to go into Wireshark and change some settings so that you can actually then see the SSH communication. And I'm going to finish the video, stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how to find SSH traffic in a capture where we don't see and we can't filter on SSH. Let's do it. So from here, we're going to connect to my user on the Ubuntu server. It's already queued up. Perfect. We're going to be on the port. It's going to ask for my password. Put it in there. Bingo, bango. We have access to the SSH server on the other side. Awesome. Great. But what happens when we run this through Wireshark? How does this look different? Switch over and stop. Okay, and right away we can actually see the interesting piece to this this setup. We do we have the normal connection sin sin ac ac, and then we've got data transferring between. So that's when I was logging in to the server, and then I and then I killed it. But what's what's different about this is that. We don't see the protocol name of SSH. Let's compare this capture to a, a capture where we can actually see SSH being shown. Okay, so now this is a very similar environment, uh, private network, and it's got an SSH server, but the default port is left as port 22. And you can see it right here where we're establishing a connection from the client over to the server on port 22 and we've got the three-way handshake sin sin ack and ack now what's unique and different about this particular capture is that we actually see the version of ssh going through we can see the key exchange and uh, we see diffie hellman being used but this is the exact same server in both these captures these are both the ubuntu server and so what we're going to do here is we're going to discuss a little bit about why do we see this difference between this capture here and this capture here? Why does it look like this? We can't see right now just by looking at these two captures is that they actually have the default settings set uh, to enabled. So when we're looking at different protocols, what we need to do is actually look at the enabled protocols that we have currently set in the Wireshark. So if we go to analyze and we go over to enable protocols, let's take a peek at whether SSH is turned on. And let's see, let's try to turn it off and see what happens. So let's search for it. And we do have it. So we can see the little check mark here. And now if I were to unclick that and hit OK, we can see that my, my capture changes quite a bit. And it looks very similar to the, the other capture where it was on a different port. But in this case, we're, we're dealing with port 22, but it's not telling us that we're dealing with SSH. Now, I like to see SSH, so let's go, bit, go ahead and actually turn that back on. Okay, good. That looks so much better. Let's take a look at this other capture, the one where we it's a little bit more confusing and a little bit more obfuscated. I would like to associate this port of 4444 with the protocol of SSH. Now, it's actually pretty easy to do that. All we have to do is go over to edit, 
go down to preferences and we're going to go and look at our protocols and we're going to slide on down to the SSH portion here. We have SSH right here and we can actually see the ports that are associated with this protocol. Now by default we've got 22 and we've got 29,418. Let's go ahead and put 4444 in there. I'm going to hit OK and right away we can actually see we can see the change. We can see it mentioning, mentioning Diffie Hellman. We can see the key exchange. That's great. But that doesn't really help me if I've never actually seen this capture before. What if I was to have a capture of a, a client site and we, we didn't have this? What if it was obscure like it was before? How could we identify SSH traffic without it being handed to us like this? So how can we how can we figure it out? Well, one one way to do that is actually to search for it. So maybe we we suspect that it is SSH because when we look at the ports between the uh, potential client and the potential server, we do see that it is it's not changing. So there is a dedicated communication and a connection that is actually happening between these two these two machines. So. What if we were to filter on this? So let's go to search. And I'm going to have it set to string. You got a, you got a few other uh, values here, but I want to search by string. And we can search in the different windows, which is super, super useful. Um, we can do packet list, which would be this. Packet details, which is this window here, which is shrunk details. Or our packet bytes. And I'm going to search on bytes. And you can see I've already got the SSH uh, queued up here. But let's go ahead and search for SSH in here. <laughs> and right away, the, the communication is revealed because we can see right, a, right away here that our server is actually running OpenSSH. Um, and it's got the 9.01 uh, versioning on that, and which, is, which is super helpful. Hey, if you're enjoying some of my videos, take a look at some of these videos that I've got up on the screen here. There's lots of cool things that I'm working on. And thanks for watching. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.